Hey, going Taurus, we're going to do you a quick message and see what comes out from spirit. All right, shuffled all these cards up. All right, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. What we're going to do is we're going to add all the houses in as well this time to make sure the messages come out thoroughly and see what comes out. Oof, you may be an empress. Maybe dealing with an empress. All right. Ooh, your hearts for the past couple of readings have been blocked. That's why I'm changing it up this time. Wow, man. Somebody may be in regret. Somebody from your past may be in regret. Or well, you may be in regret. Well, we'll have a look. You're healing, though. Or well, somebody's healing. Trusting that intuition. Wow. Hard work and determination. There's your card, and there's fate on your side. Fate's on your side into the future, which is magnificent, yeah? All right, you'll see that this reading's a little different today. You're completing something out. Protect your energy at the present moment, okay? You've got a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups coming in case of watch out for any devil or manipulation coming around. All right, what are we going to do there? All right. So go through all the houses, and this time we'll shuffle these cards up thoroughly. As you can see, they're all shuffled up. We're going to chuck them down to the left there, and we'll grab them as we go through this time to make sure the reading comes out thoroughly. But as you can see, there's your reading right there in front of you. All of those cards are all the reading, right, for you. These ones that come out are the past. Let's shuffle it up a little bit more and make sure. Your intuition's on fire. You can see that at the present moment. Whatever you've been through is on your come is on the good luck of fortune coming into the future. You're just healing at the present moment from whatever this happened in the past. But we can see your um in your thinking about, right? Because she's daydreaming here, right? And there's the thoughts. So you're thinking about taking a leap of faith or going on a journey in some sort of way, but there's some sort of conflict stopping that level up in some sort of way. You trust your intuition, it led you to who you are as a soul, and that's magnificent. Okay, there you are ascending, daydreaming. There's you. There's fate on your side. Maybe love. Maybe some sort of fated love, okay? It's going to shock the shit out of you. You are the empress. Judgment is on your side, which knows your heart motives to be true. In the heart, we've got the high priestess, all right? And we've got trusting the intuition, okay? So you can see that um, your readings have been coming out. The heart's been a bit blocked, all right? So we can see that that leap of faith is about to be taken, I suppose, or somebody's thinking about that thoroughly, and there's a level up there for you, which is fated, leading to it. But just healing, because 4-4, four, four, something to you, 4-4, four, four, 44... 45, 4th of the 5th, 5-5, five, five. might be um, in regret, because there's regret in the hopes, maybe hoping for something, but feeling like you're going to regret it in some sort of way, temperance is in your, in your world, so it shows it's balance in your world, in some sort of way, but the heart's there in itself, what we do is we start now. Yeah, man, look, daydreaming, thinking about love or something like that. Love's coming in in some sort of way. Spirit. Restriction. Somebody feels restricted in some sort of way. You are thinking about love or somebody's thinking about love with you or something like that in itself, okay? But these are you in itself. So these cards are you. So it shows that somebody's thinking about taking a leap of faith in love or some sort of showing up as a knight in shining armor of love or something because you're healing at the present moment leading to the future or something you're meditating on because there's meditation and she's meditating here in itself but it show, does show there's a level up in itself okay on that pursuit of excellence this is a hero it's a hero it saves the day in itself the uh, knight of swords because we've got two knights here yeah which shows action somebody wants to put action in some sort of way but yeah with the knight of swords like that's the pursuit of excellence it's like somebody going it's usually in the normal deck here which is we clarify at the end hey, it's the same card here to the same card here and somebody's thinking about something divine judgments on your side and there's the high priestess in the heart and it's also here underneath the lovers as well somebody's thinking about it somebody's juggling thoughts at the present moment if it's not your reading it's not your reading the spirit says that thoroughly in the background and try don't make it force it to fit there's some sort of level up, some sort of um, pursuit. This is a soldier. That's the thing is in that deck over there, that in the original Rider Waite deck, that's a soldier who's charging in. And that's why it's called the hero saving the day. But in this deck, it's like a fast thinker. So somebody's thinking, man, I'm telling you the truth. Somebody's thinking about offering a cup of love in some sort of way. 
It's a time for fast, fast action and haste, saving the day, being assertive, ambition, defending others, being a hero. Like it's literally somebody wants to, either somebody wants to offer you a cup of love or you want to offer somebody a cup of love in some sort of way. And it shows communication here. In the unforeseen, this is what you can't see these cards down here because I'm about to pull the card here. That's communication. The eight of wands is communication and that's what it means. It's, it's communication coming in fast, like the speed of light. See, it's the speed of light. That's streamlined decision making. Then there's the cup of love being offered. There's the leap of faith. In itself and that's trusting your intuition in your heart because your heart's telling you to do that do that in itself spirit saying thoroughly in the background if it's not your reading it's not your reading have a lovely day yeah, but this is good news so whatever's you so that's in the hopes okay and that's sadness and worry regret it's over here so somebody's worrying about something they're hoping for in itself that you can't see is good news a positive resolution quickly evolving circumstances things happening quickly split second decisions now that's the same thing for split second decisions so it does clarify thoroughly in itself oh it's eight of wands with the eight of wands so we're in two minds we're in two minds about whether it's going to come because one's in reverse one's in the upright in the upright that's good news travel things happening quickly split second decisions positive resolutions quickly evolving circumstances in the reverse which is the mirror aspect of that unexpected delays hesitation a time to find a laser-like focus and a lack of direction and lack of energy so it does show we're in two minds here at the present moment somebody is definitely trusting their intuition okay because your intuition's on fire whatever happened in the past leads you towards who you are but in the hopes and fears look she's worried she's worried so see the blessing here because it's the four to the five of cups right this is the energy in now if it resonates see the cup that's been offered it's it's just like somebody didn't see it and then there's the cup so somebody's worried about something in itself and it's got something to do with love I've got to do the messages the way that the messages come out or I, like I lost my hearing last week because of this because I'm not pulling the messages out in the right way so they've got to be pulled out the right way all right I'll show you in a second when we go when we do this one put this card down and this card here in itself I'll go through the houses and then we'll put the past and then the future reading into itself but have a look but I'm telling you somebody wants to offer some sort of cup of love or offer you a cup of love and it's I don't see why somebody else would be in your energy if that makes sense but they're worried in some sort of way but temperance angel is there to watch over you and keep you safe that's good news coming in fast on your side so you make the right decision but the mirror aspect shows that there is some sort of hesitation some sort of hesitation okay about offering that cup in itself I'm gonna have a look at the the thoughts and then the heart and then we'll do these cards last and then we'll go into the past and the future man i'm telling you whatever you're thinking about it's a leap of faith okay whatever happened in the past is finished it's completed but it's a time to celebrate that is weddings it's party time it's celebration that's what that card means there's a lot of wands here so there's a lot of passion and there's a lot of love here yeah celebration significant event milestone somebody's thinking about that in itself somebody's thinking about taking a leap of faith that's parties gathering it is christmas time a whole colony of like-minded souls invitation is on the way it literally says that in the book there and it's in the upright too so it shows that the leap of faith will be working in your favor if that makes sense so it's a time to celebrate with good news on your side but the mirror aspect it shows that maybe you're worried about offering something in some sort of way and does show that in the heart maybe worried about something breaking your heart i'm telling you the truth because that's a broken heart and you're trusting your intuition so in the mirror aspect of your heart at the present moment you are trusting that intuition but things may from the past may have broken you in the heart they have broken that heart and so if you're a very very grounded person you're a very very grounded down to earth type of person it does show that there thoroughly yeah welcoming nature you're a generous beautiful person who's nurturing a mother figure prosperity wholesomeness a powerful success magnet stability and financial gains a gifted healer prosperity and abundance it does show that there because there's your essential look there's your ascension there's ascension too underneath that too so don't deceive yourself out of it the moon highlights things we can't see they see that ascension there and see the ascension see the tree in the background it's like sacred sacred knowledge in itself and then straight under that we've got the third high opening so somebody's trusting that intuition in itself in order to lead you towards the future in the future we've got release burdens release burdens at the present moment leading into the future so it is a release of burdens okay because that's healing next to it and then releasing burdens next to that and there's a lot of passion here man there's a lot of wands a lot of passion inspiration yeah that's exactly right thank you spirit I got that wrong it's it's not just passion it's inspiration wands are inspiration they're um passion pursuits determination inspiration somebody's determined over something in itself the ten of wands in reverse is 
maybe somebody um, is letting go of excess baggage for starters and doing too much multitasking, being on the edge of that success leading into the future, but a time to choose what's most important to your priorities are using discernment, especially with those two cards together with healing in some sort of way, maybe a little bit of unfocused energy, which is why we're healing at the present moment because she's daydreaming there. But it's time to let go of restraints and a time to delegate, if that makes sense. And that's why we're healing leading into the future. What we're going to do is we'll pull the world and the, the world card, the Hierophant. You're in the world. I'm telling you the truth. Things from your past, let them go. Release that burden, okay? It's the best way to say that because you're in, the, the, in, you're in your world, if that makes sense. And there's daydream, daydreaming in that world, okay? So it's not a time because there's balance and harmony coming into your world in some sort of way because there's the Hierophant and there's the world. So that level of ascension is beautiful and it's trusting in that in itself, trusting in itself like for itself. That card is a card of marriage and so is that in itself. So you may be married or thinking to get married or wanting to get married or looking for marriage in some sort of way, but there's some sort of regret or worry in that world, okay? Worry, 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 worry. Six of Swords is being divinely guided. It's usually symbolized by a person on a boat being pushed by another person in the background, which is called a gondolier. All right? And in that gondolier is spirit pushing you in a certain direction. That's why I say it's spiritually guided in itself. It is swords. So somebody's using a lot of logic and thinking at the present moment, and it goes from the six to the five there. So it does show somebody may be worried at the present moment about divine guidance. Somebody may be holding on to the past. Whoa, it literally says it there, not seeing the bright possibilities that are in front of you. And that's in reverse for that card, in reverse. Somebody holding on to the past, not wanting to let go of thoughts that are harming you, not seeing the bright possibilities that are in front of you. And then we've got worry next to that in itself. So it might not be seeing what's right in front of you at the present moment because there's worry in itself, okay? And that's divine guidance leading you towards that. And there's the divine leading up to that. And we are worried about a broken heart in some sort of way. But there does, somebody wants to offer a cup of love. And that's the truth. If it's not a cup of love, then somebody wants to show up and be that cup of love, if that makes sense. But it does explain that there thoroughly. We're going to go through the houses and have a look. In the uh, first house of Aries, which is this card here, the identity, self, and appearance, and beginnings, it's somebody's daydreaming. I'm telling you the truth because they, I can look at it from multiple perspectives, from tarot. I can look at it from numerology in itself. That's 11. That's 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. That's what I mean. That's 11. That's 4. And that's 15. One plus five is six. It breaks down to a six in numerology. And six is love, healing, relationships, family, and home. I'm telling you the truth. We can look at it from every single direction. Spirit doesn't lie and definitely doesn't lie to me 100%. I can see that. Somebody wants to offer a cup of love, family, home, or something in some sort of way. Whether it's you or somebody else wanting to offer that cup, we'll see into the future as we go across here. But it does show thoroughly that somebody's looking at somebody who's shining i suppose the best way to say it. Look, there's a dove there in itself doves might be something spectacular roses might be something to you snakes might be something to you uh tattoos might be something to you there's a jewel here there's a diamond and diamonds are formed from pressure you know so there might have been a lot of pressure in the past leading to you it might be a lot of pressure on you at the present moment because there's a diamond there in that coins and then in the ones there's another diamond up there so and look she's got a diamond in her hand there like a crystal like an amethyst uh, this thing here in itself, one of those. I'm going to put that on that card. In itself. It does show that there's positivity when that thoughts crystals heal, okay? And that's what they're there, that is what they're there for. They're, everything in the universe is alive. That crystal grows, but it grows for a long period of time, a long period of time, and it's stuck in isolation in order to grow within the planet and then comes out that way. But it heals in itself. They heal. They They heal. Like that one, I'll sleep under my pillow with, and it heals my mind for when I wake up. So if there's harmony in your world or coming into your world in some sort of way, but then there's in the hopes and fears, man, not only are we hoping to be divinely led, but we're worried at the same time. So it does show that. So in the first house of identity and self, we've got daydreaming or thinking about love in some sort of way. In the second house of Taurus, which is your house, uh, money, value, daily routines, we can see there might be a little bit of conflict, but you're running through your pursuit at the present moment. There's some sort of level. It is Christmas. So it does show that there in itself. In the Gemini of uh, third house of communication, siblings, we've got double communication here. I said that before we even started. This is the third house of Gemini, which is communication, siblings, neighbors, friends. Somebody wants to offer some sort of communication in some sort of way, whether it's you or somebody, because I've got it in both ways here. That's why I've got to look at it like that, because that's unforeseen. One, It's like whether you want to offer somebody something or they want to offer something, but some way or another, 
we've got it in mirrored. So it's like you're mirroring something or they're mirroring something or somebody's mirroring something back to you in some sort of way. But in communication, I've got communication. So somebody does want to make good news and hasten on your side, it's good news. So it does show that, but we may be worried in itself, okay? In the fifth, fourth house of cancer, we've got cancer here, by the way, cancer or cancer in some sort of way. So in that is home, family, roots, and your emotions. So it does show you're being divinely guided, okay, and you're trusting that intuition at the present moment in itself. Um, actually, she's not cancer. Queen of coins, queen of pentacles is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're thinking at the present. I'm telling you the truth. You're thinking, and that's the best way to say that. If it's not you, it's not your reading because I've got the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I've got Capricorn, and then I've got that passion there of um, divine inspiration in itself. But somebody's trusting their third eye and they want to let, take a leap of faith in some sort of way. 40, maybe something to you, 40, 40. Alexa, what is the biblical term for number 40? Let's have a look. Who knows? The biblical term for the number 40 is often associated with testing, trials, and significant events. It is used in various religious texts, including the Bible, to represent periods of discipline and preparation. Discipline and preparation. Somebody, that's discipline there. That's discipline there. And there's preparation as we step off onto that leap of faith. So it's funny that, that that's in the thoughts at the present moment. Somebody wants to step off and take a leap of faith in some sort of way. Right, fate is on your side. Good luck is on your side. Good communications there. You can't see it at the present moment, but it's wanting to be pulled out. We'll have a look at these houses now. But while I'm shuffling, okay, that was the Leo, the fifth house, uh, the Cancer, sorry, of the fourth house. In the fifth house of pleasure, play, creativity, and self-expression, I have somebody wanting to take a leap of faith and take an adventure. I'm dead set serious. Yep, in that Leo fifth house, somebody wants to definitely wants pleasure and play, and it's a leap of faith because in that is celebration, and there's the leap of faith leading into the future, into the future, into that Virgo energy, which is this cards here, is health, fitness, organization, and routines, and I can see that you may be healing at the present moment. It's a final push, but it does show that um, in itself. That was saying before for that card, it was saying, I can't remember everything off the top of my head. One's a passion. I remember saying that. Unfocused energy, not being able to ask for help, oppression, letting go of restraints, and time to delegate. It does show that there thoroughly, yeah? New beginnings, enthusiasm, adventure, fresh opportunities leading into the future. Having faith. That's faith. There's a leap of, future, leap of faith into the future, and there's the good news around love, some sort of way, split the deck. It's somebody's fucking, look, that's hope. That's faith. That's the wish. And in the hope, we're worried in some sort of way. Health and fitness, organization, routines, you're healing, you're meditating, you're doing you. It's like a final push at the present moment, but you're releasing any burdens, which is beautiful, okay? That's the best way to say that. In the Libra energy of relationships, marriage, sharing, and mutual respect, we've got some sort of broken heart around some sort of divine intervention, some sort of trusting that intuition. Yeah, and that's your card there, if that makes sense. And there's the broken heart, and that's worry in itself. And that's why that healing's there. Relationships, marriage, shopping, sharing, mutual mutual attraction in the heart of the reading. Somebody's been divinely guided. It's not that the heart's out on this one. It's got a broken heart. So that's why the healing's there because you can see the healing there leading into the future. And that's all Spirit's saying. It's pretty much do there in itself and it hasn't said nothing in the background of that. In the Scorpio energy of transformation, sex, intimacy, and bonding, I've got balance, okay? And there's you in that balance in itself. So there may be some sort of uh, transformation taking place because I do have healing leading into the future. And there's bonding. It's like it's bonding. The bonding is going to give harmony in some sort of way. And it's the best way to do in that house. In the Sagittarius of philosophy, higher learning, studies, morals, and ethics, there is mother of moral, mad, awesome morals and ethics in some sort of way, but divine guidance writes a passage and then worry worry about divine guidance because there's worry about being broken hearted there's communication there's worry in itself leading towards offering the cup there's the cup in itself sitting behind you and then she was saying there was divine guidance here in itself wow Hey, it says it no matter, and no matter which way I go, it says it, right? In the Capricorn energy of ambition, careers, goals, and achievements, it shows that you're working hard and you're 
putting determination in. It's steadfast. It's taking its time, but you're getting there in itself, and it does show that. In the Aquarius energy of community, groups, social, society, we can see a very sociable at the present moment, and there's the transformation she's talking about here in itself, because there's you, and there's the transformation in your hands at the present moment. So it does show she's the most sociable queen out of them all. The black cat sitting in front of you shows that um, worn-off evil spirits. Okay, and then in the Pisces energy of inner life, shadows, endings, closures, and healing, I've got somebody healing. I'm telling you, the emotional, intuitively intelligent soul there, emotional intelligence there, and by trusting that third eye, there is that third eye in itself in the level of ascension by trusting the guru within, and then I've got intuition and, and trust and emotional intelligence. So you've pretty much got all, you must be a very, very emotionally intuitive person. You have to be an emotionally intuitive person because it's in all all the emotional intuitive cards are out and they're on the good side if that makes sense let's have a look at the past leading into the future like i said like spirit just said before it's not if it's not your reading it's not your reading don't force it to fit man working very 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 hard at the present moment okay on that heart because there's a the broken heart and there's a hard work and determination in that capricorn energy of ambition and achievements you learn the trials and tribulations in an abundant new beginning and there's you on the Hierophant there in itself out of three decks the Hierophant's come out you might be thinking a lot too a lot in the past at the present moment okay but Spirit said you learn the trials and tribulations leading into the future and that's why we've got release burdens there leading into the future and heal the present moment there's the same card there the same card there don't be worried about if you want to offer a cup of love or somebody like it's got to be you it's the truth i do all these readings i'll be doing another 11 today 13 15 thing i'll be opening them all up soon so i'll be able to do uh, personal reads on top on a different couple of sites as well if you want to offer a cup of love offer the cup of love because you can see that there which just surrounded by a broken heart see the broken heart the heart here the broken heart and there's the cup of love in itself somebody's daydreaming about that that love will be your world in itself but you're trapped in your mind somehow something happened in the past same card here to the same card here some conflict competition in some sort of way around love because there's the love there in itself it would have led to a ten of cups but there's the fool on the journey leading to that in itself same card here to the same card there in itself plus the same card there in itself fucking hell Man, I've got to do the readings how I do the reading. Spirit literally took my hearing the other day to prove that he could do whatever he wants in this universe, and that is the truth. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith. You need to release the burdens of that sadness in order to do it and heal, but you will get there because the good news is there. You can't see this. I'm going to have to pull another couple of decks. It's the only reading that seems to come out like this in itself. I'm going to cut back. Whatever from the past is in the past needs to be let go so you can learn the trials and tribulations and step off trusting that intuition, okay? There's some sort of celebration there, but you've got to step off for it, release the burdens, and then go for it in some sort of way because fate's on your side. Be fearless at the present moment. This fearless card just came out. and Protect your energy. I've got fearless and protect your energy. If you want it, see this card? This is the best way to say it. See how she's pushing through the veils to grab it. She's pushing through knowing spirits with her in the background there, that light in the background there to take what you want into the future. It's the best way to say that because I've got so much wands here of inspiration, of passion and drive and determination that it is absolutely not funny. And then in the reading, and because everything centers around these four cards right here, that's the energy and that's the opposing energy. So somebody's fighting the determination that they want to make in offer to cup, make the cup and you can see them all fighting here trying to step up to get to that level of fight there in itself in order to get that in itself. And there's the daydreaming leading into the future in itself. Step off onto the journey and protect yourself as you walk onto your journey. Take that new belief of faith it's the same card here to the same card here take the leap of faith spirit's trying to push you towards something only one they're trying to push you towards your success that's the light shining on your success happiness positivity in itself there's clarity like the ace of swords is clarity and it's also surrounded by two victories into the future victory and victory leading into the future in some sort of way beautiful that's the passion and drive and determination which is in that community group social like it's just there as well it's in the outcome it shows that whatever's here in the future is definitely going to line up into that outcome okay and that's equilibrium for the empress now the empress came out before and there's the ten of pentacles look at this watch this and the same card there release burdens just came out i shuffled the deck a thousand times over all right 
it's been hard work and determination, but you've been fearless, okay, to feel the, get, to get rid of this broken heart because it is in the broken heart. We can see that there. Spirit says, if you want it, take it. You've learned the trials and tribulations to step off into that into that journey with double emphasis, step off into the future in order to divine guidance because there's the divine in the Hierophant card and then there's the divine guidance of that spirit pushing you. See, if you have a look in the background, it's like spirit's about to flick you off into, into some sort of way. Spirit can do anything, and I'm telling you the truth. The success is going to be around that Knight of Cups because there's the Knight of Cups to the success and the Knight of Cups. It does show that there's the whole world is there for you, but that's clarity in itself. We just got to get out of that mind and be confident in the present moment leading into the future. Not juggle any thoughts because it's the same card here to the same card here to the same card here because it will result in love for an Empress or an Emperor. In some sort of way, that's a divine counterpart because I do have all four queens here at the present moment all four queens are here which does lead up to that empress energy of who you are as a soul and then i've got pretty much out of three decks i have all higher fronts as well wow okay and no matter what it's going to lead you towards your ten of cups and your ten of pentacles okay there's the best way to say that because this is the growth of an inheritance or spiritual journey or something and then there's the love of that connection it's also surrounded by love this is not giving too much of a past re reading if that makes sense it's giving more of a, some sort of broken heart leading towards your future in some sort of way that's why i said it's a very specific marriage message but this thing here is the world okay and that's success straight out of the book success and completion and it's coupled with success over here that ace of pentacle ace of uh, ace of swords which is clarity divine clarity divine truth and divine success and it's coupled with success around love but somebody's got to be confident see how confident these queens are confident to get out of that mind to offer that cup of love or do what they've got to do but they're juggling that thought like i said before that's a soldier in itself that's what that is you can see even with the sword he's got one of these bad boys right here yeah, it's got one of those bad boys sitting right on there. It says, it says, be safe on it. So be safe as you led towards your future. It's the best way to say that. I'm going to pull these final cards up here, and then I'm going to go through and clarify everything. This is definitely a message for somebody, but these readings always come out like this. Broken heart. Temperance, it's in the world. It's coming into the future. We only got one more card to put up there. Just learning at the present moment, which is beautiful. Learning, temperance, learning, balance, learning, harmony, learning to stay in that Goldilocks zone, okay? Because it's in the outcome. No matter what, it's a time for celebration. It's a time for love. You've been working hard at it. And whatever's coming in, it's going to bring balance. Because look at this. Look, in this cup, this, the four of wands is there, which is celebration. It looks like she's taking those glasses there and mixing them up like wine glasses in some sort of way. It does show that there thoroughly. Let's grab this last deck and pull it in itself protect your energy at the present moment all right let's shuffle them up see what comes out for the first house here in the second house release any fear at the present moment illusion is just a illusion is nothing fear is nothing fear is just your mind playing tricks on you and so if you want the divine emperor go and get it because i've got the empress here in the future and then i've got the opposing energies in some sort of way that the cup wants to be offered it's going to bring in divine connection in itself because there's the communication far out man the communication i'm telling you the truth you can't see this but there's good communication coming but something's hesitant at the present moment and it will bring a sun which is the most positive and happiest card you could ever possibly imagine release any fears and go and get what you want in some sort of way step off and be unapologetically yourself i'm going to put one more card on that spirit didn't say that but i'm going to put one more card on that <laughs> yeah, four decks and you come out horrifying 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 if you want something in your world go and get it it's the best way to say that thinking you got thinking in the thinking lincoln so therefore it's thinking thinking look there's a celebration thinking and there's a leap of faith that leads into the future in itself there's the ten of cups to the ten of cups to the ten of cups to the ten of pentacles you see me shuffle these decks in itself but we're back thinking again Thinking, 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 daydreaming. Is it true? Is it not true? It's completed. The Ten of Swords is there, so it's completed. Somebody's thinking in some sort of way about something that has been completed out. But the Spirit is trying to guide you towards it. One more card. It's working hard at the present moment. Wow. Spirit, yep. And ostracize yourself and leave yourself out in the cold. Divine is going to only give certain more times before. Yeah. 
Wow. You leave yourself out in the cold, it'll break that heart. It's funny that the same cards keep coming out in the same types of energies for this reading. And so if you want the love, the ship's sitting there in the background just floating around out there in order to get that love. I do have a counterpart as well, some sort of way. It's just sitting there waiting for you. If you want it, don't be scared. Go and get it. I'm going to pull out five cards for that last deck there in itself in the ending. And you know what? Just to make sure, watch this. Let's shuffle the cards right up. We take the one on the top and then the rest of the bottom. And the outcome, hard work and determination. Same card there to the same card there and the outcome, okay? You want it, go and get it. It's the same card here to the same card here. It's the counterpart in itself. There's divine inspiration. Aces are divine gifts, but that's inspiration, divine passion in some sort of way. If you want it, go and get it. You're just learning at the present moment. It's the same card there to the same card there to the same card there to the same card there. It's the same cards. No matter what I do, it still comes out exactly the same. We take the random card from the middle. Don't ostracize yourself. Put yourself down. You deserve it. There's clarity there in itself. There's the Knight of Cups. There's clarity here for somebody. I'm telling you the truth. That's truth and clarity. It's also into the future there, centered into the future. The same card there, centered around the future. You want the cup of love, go and get it. Release any fears and go and get it. Look at this. See these cards here? This is what. These are the thoughts up here. That's thinking. And that's thinking. Look at the moon here. See the face of the hermit? There's the face of the hermit in the moon, thinking. See? Release any fears at the present moment. I have so much thoughts at the present moment that it is not funny. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Even thinking in the even even thinking into that. Now we split the deck and it come up with that. And there's the success. It's right next to the same cards here. Ace of Swords to the Ace of Swords, and it's all in the future for you waiting. There's the six of six of uh inspiration, six of wands right there, and in between that is the love. You know what? Give me this deck in itself. Make sure they're all shuffled. I want three cards for that ending there. I did this the other day. Four of Wands, unity. Somebody wants to unite. I'm telling you the truth. And there's a victory for it. It's the same card you would pull it out. It's the same card that just come out there, there, and there. And it's in the outcome. You know it. There's a celebration there for you. Okay? But you've got anxiety, which is why in the hopes we've got anxiety there in itself. And you need to be brave. See? Brave. Last card. Let me take it right from the middle of the deck. No, nah, two cards. Regret and disappointment, man. I'm telling you the truth. It's the same card in the heart, then it's the same card in the host. You're regretting something. There is bravery. You've got to be brave. Step forward, you'll get it. It's the truth. Trying to know the clarity is the star, the wish in itself. And then there's the cup. Far out, man. Communication. Look at that. There's the cup being offered. There's the temperance angel there to balance the love out in between the love, the color, and the thing, okay? There's manipulation in some sort of mindset, okay? Because the devil's trying to fight that. But this is in the heart. So there's some sort of manipulation not playing, which is a broken heart in the past. But the communication is about to step off into the future because there is divine love and divine blessing, which is going to bring justice, happiness, positivity, and celebration. We're just going to learn our worth and step towards it. It literally says it there, man. Everything that I'm saying right there without even touching the cards, it, it, something's going to shock you in some sort of way, but you've got to get out of that mindset to get the abundance and manifest the love that you want in some sort of way. you just got to release, and then there comes the love, and it's strength in love because it's for the Empress of Divine Blessing in itself with communication with a lot of options and fantasies that'll be happy, celebration, enthusiastic love, okay? In itself, but we can't until we make the choice. That choice is right there to there. The same cards come out. You're hoping for it. You're wanting it. You're hoping it. You're wanting it. Look at the emotion on that card. In itself. That's the reading I have for you. Wow, man. I am moving towards my goals with passion and enthusiasm. I speak my truth with confidence and get my point across clearly. I choose to see the opportunities that they present themselves in front of me. It's the same card underneath here to the same card here in itself. This is not your reading. It's not your reading. I devote time to connect and listen to my inner self. And it's over here. Somebody's not listening to their heart. 
I nurture the spiritual growth of myself and others, and that's the Empress card. And need strength at the present moment because everything is within me. And there's the Hierophant. I respect, and I learn from sacred spiritual traditions. I am ready to leave behind anything that hinders my spiritual growth. The more I give, the more I receive. The Nine of Pentacles, which is pure passion and positivity. I feel secure, I have enough. And last card. I have the power to make my dreams come true. The Magician. Give me this deck. Alright, let's go. I've got heaps of them. We'll keep going every day. Lightbringer. Love. Lightbringer, love in itself, okay? Rose Quartz, maybe something to you. Deep healing, maybe something to you. Passion, maybe something to you. Courage, fun, peace, and courage in itself. And then strength. Completely different deck. Purpose. Gratitude towards your purpose in itself with optimism in some sort of way. Okay, these are my crystal cards. Journey. Somebody's going to go on a journey in some sort of way. Believe in yourself. Literally, believe in yourself. Set healthy boundaries. Time to heal. Time to let go. And freedom is yours. This deck. One random card. The lovers, man. I'm telling you the truth, man. I just took a random card out of a random deck. Lovers. Give me this deck. All right. Give me a random deck here. Choose honesty. Find yourself making up an excuse as to why you can't do something to let something down gently. Choose honesty. If the truth is I'm tired, I'd like to do this, but I've got too much on, just say it. You'll feel better for it. Tower moments in reverse. Strength is right there from the past. Hermit is right there as we think. Divine judgment in itself to get the wish as we work hard for the Empress. Energy justice is there to balance out the scale. Be enthusiastic at the present moment. Beautiful. What's the reading I have for you? Have a look at my other readings. They never come out like this for some reason. It's the truth. There's a very specific message there for somebody. It's not your reading. It's not your reading. Have a lovely day. But whoever this is, I'm going to guide them towards their heart. I'm telling you the truth, and they're going to get it regardless enough because Spirit says I'm literally going to be able to do that thoroughly. I celebrate life and cherish family and friends, and I have the power to face my deepest fears and heal them, and I take care of my loved ones and myself. My path is clear and I have everything I need to walk in my truth. I am willing to release the past, learn my lessons and start again. I act with integrity and responsibility for my own actions and I commit to working steadily towards my goals. It's the same cards and the outcome there, by the way, too. The same four cards. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care. God bless. Stay woke.